this might not be the most creative and exciting part of a photographer workflow, but it's still super, super important. In fact, today we are going to talk about photo storage and backup workflow in landscape photography. Welcome to my channel. Here I talk about photography and I make videos just like this one where I share some tips on how I store and backup my photos. So if you're here for the very first time, it might be a good idea to subscribe. Did you notice the new lighting? What do you think? Constructive comments are always welcome. Now I would like to know if there is anybody out there that doesn't have a backup system for their photos and and never lost a single image. I will tell you that that will not be me. And I will also tell you that if you are so lucky that you never lost a single photo without a backup system, it is just a matter of time. So be smart and set up some kind of backup system. Of course, you don't need to do exactly what I'm going to tell you, but right now I'm going to share my own system. As you saw in the title, this workflow is mainly addressed to landscape photography, as this is what I do. And also because if you work in a studio as a portrait or product photographer, you will still need to back up your photos, but things will work in a slightly different way. So let's talk about landscape photography and let's start from when I am on the field. Let's say that I am on a photography trip somewhere. When I come back, to my hotel room or Airbnb or whatever it is. The very first thing I will do is to make sure that I always have two copies in two different places of all the contents of my camera memory card. So I will create a first duplicate on my laptop and a second one on an external hard drive. Only, only when I have these two copies, I will eventually erase the images from my memory card and actually, as far as it concerns my photos, because I mainly take, as you know, long exposure photography and I have multiples memory cards, I don't come back with tons of photos. And most of the time, I don't even need to erase my memory cards until I come back home. So what do I use when I am on the field to back up my photos? This rugged, lazy hard drive comes always with me on my photography trips. It is solid and it can resist some little accidents that can happen on the field. But recently I received from Western Digital a new hard drive. Also portable, also rugged, very, very solid. But this is very special because it's a solid state drive, which means it's super fast. And the other awesome part about this is that I don't even need a computer to upload my photos in here. As a matter of fact, I can insert my memory card right in here directly. Unbelievable. So I can back up all my contents right after the shoot on location. And I can even review them on my iPhone or on my tablet. I know already that this is going to be super, super helpful for my drone footage, for my GoPro footage. As a matter of fact, for all my video contents because I can immediately see if I've got all I need. And because it is a solid state drive, its speed will allow me to start editing my video project while flying back home. For this scope until now, I've been using these 500 gigabytes SSD from Samsung, the T5, which is great. It's super small, super fast. I can put it in my pocket but of course, this needs a computer and uh, it is not rugged, so you need to protect this a little more. Now, let's talk about what happens once I'm back home here in my studio. And the very first thing I will do is to copy all my photos into this Western Digital MyBook 10 terabyte RAID hard drive. This hard drive is pretty awesome since it will automatically create an identical copy in a second 10 tera hard drive. So if one of the drives will ever fail, I have the exact same copy right in it. And because of the huge space, 
I also set this as my time machine. So all the contents of my computer, including my Lightroom catalogs, are backed up every single day. Then I have a second copy of all my photos in a 3TB G technology hard drive that I keep at home, as it is always a good idea to have a backup copy of all your work in a different location, as not only hard drives can fail, but also bad things can happen in a studio like this. And the last thing that I have set up is to have a copy on the cloud. This is a service that is available from different providers. In my case, I use a Backblaze that uh, with the $50 per year per computer gives me unlimited space and especially unlimited peace of mind. So in the end, my main recommendation here is to always, always have at least two backups of all your photos, possibly in separate locations, and ideally a third on the cloud. All right, before letting you go, just a few words from our sponsor, which it's me. If you're interested in my prints, if you're interested in scheduling a Skype photography training session with me, or if you want to know what gear I use, I have a few links in the description below that will take you to the right places. I do appreciate your support. And with this, we are done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope you're going to let me know. And the very best way is to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Possibly share this video with your friends. And if you didn't yet, maybe this is the right time to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Don't say darling, cause you'll fake it. Don't hide the tears, cause I know you're